My name is Paul Nock from Mega Baker Instruments. I'd like to introduce uh, Baker Instruments uh, on the show today uh, here at the MEEE in Dubai. We're showcasing today our two electric motor tester instruments um, from Baker in, manufactured in Colorado. Uh, there are two technologies that we promote. Uh, one is uh, monitoring the electric motor while it's in while it's actually in operation. So we're looking at the performance um, uh, of the electric motor, uh, taking into consideration the power quality, the motor condition itself, and also the load. Uh, those three things are very important to monitor because any one of them could lead to the failure of the motor. So that's why this, this the, the, the equipment that we have is specifically designed to test uh, those three parameters on electric motors. Not general power quality, not general motor condition, but all of those three combined, which is very, very powerful for the reliability and, and predictive maintenance of electric motors. Our second technology is designed to uh, test the internal insulation systems of an electric motor. Now, there are actually two types of insulation uh, in an electric motor. This is a, a stator that we have um, uh, to demonstrate the two insulation types in the motor. So we have ground insulation that we measure through uh, the mega ohm mega test, um, looking at the insulation strength to ground. But what's specific about our instruments is we're able to uh, monitor, detect, and predict the weakness in the insulation between the turns and the coils. Now, it's a, there's been several studies done, and it's a fact that uh, electric motors fail predominantly because of the turn-to-turn -turn insulation breakdown. 80 to 90 percent of the time, the root cause of electrical failure in electric motors is because of turn-to-turn -turn and coil-to-coil -coil insulation breakdown. So now I'm going to conduct a surge test. Um, the surge test on this particular winding, uh, is, there's a fault built into it, so we're going to be able to see what happens uh, during the test if we have an insulation failure. Of course, the test equipment can do many other functions such as insulation resistance test, polarization index, dielectric absorption, high pot, inductance, impedance, capacitance. Um, but the surge test is the real uh, test when it comes to the reliability and detecting the main fault which leads to failure of electric motors. So I'm gonna skip now just straight through to the, uh, to the surge test. Um, so I'm gonna Basically build the voltage up, just like what an electric motor sees during its startup process. Um, so I'm going to hold the button down to start the voltage, and then gradually I'm going to increase the voltage until I start detecting either a fluctuation um, or I reach my target voltage according to, to the standard that I'll be working to. Now this motor is a uh, 415 volt um, motor so I'd be probably testing around the 2000 volt mark depending on which IEC, IEEE and other recommendations for surge test levels you would use. But this one I'm just going to uh, test up to 2000. Here you can see the, the signal as it's pushed through the winding from the pulsing of the capacitors in the back of the tester. But we're not seeing any fluctuation here. So this is, um, this is showing that the, the test is solid um, and we're happy with this one. So now I'm going to move on to the next phase. I'll start from zero again, increase the voltage up gradually until we start seeing some fluctuation. Or not if the motor is in good condition. So you can see here, we've got another phase that is uh, balanced. There's no issue, there's no, there's no movement on the uh, on the coil whatsoever. So we're going to move on to the third phase. As we increase the voltage up. Okay, we're starting to see some fluctuation here now. So you can see that the uh, on this phase, we're getting some movement. Uh, the pulse to pulse error area ratio graph has shown that each pulse, there's a percentage difference between each pulse. And if we're applying the same voltage, and the, we should be ex experiencing a very level reading. But if I was to take that up a little bit further, you can see that it's, it's now 
breaching our level, the inductance is changing, um, and you can see here that there is an arcing in between the turns. Um, so we're finding a fault right now live with this, uh, this data.